Uh, to the all-decade uh, U.S. men's national team uh, for uh, uh, Soccer America, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, I want to talk about that, if we can, for a minute, about the 2002 World Cup. Um, you played every minute of that World Cup, and you, as I have told my friends, you were a monster in that game, I mean, in, the whole, in that whole uh, uh, World Cup. Uh, <coughs> talk to me a little bit, I mean, Every athlete has kind of a pinnacle or a peak moment that he feels. Is that was that yours, or was it something else? Um, it definitely was a highlight of my career. Um, I sacrificed a lot, you know, getting up to the World Cup. I dedicated myself and my body a little bit more. Uh, you know, one thing in general about about my past is, you know, I've succeeded and I failed, but you know, I've seemed to do well in in, in larger situations mm -hmm. because I think it was easier easier for me to get my concentration level up and I never looked at it like you know what if I make a mistake inside of 50,000 people or a billion people I was excited because now I get to show one billion people what I get to do mm -hmm. so for me it was like you know players play to play the game you know practice is the work and for me my whole career you know game time has has always been you know rewarding and it was definitely a special time with me. Um, I focused on it. You know, you go through your whole life and, you know, you're on the team, but, you know, I know a lot of friends of mine, Chris Armas, Sebastian Deisler, you know, one injury away a week before and it's gone. So, you know, I've had a lot of great club experiences, Champions League, but, you know, a dream really come true. It wasn't being picked on the team in Korea. It wasn't playing in the games. It was the very first game against Portugal, walking out there, being in the starting 11 still, yeah. the national anthem going off, I'm done with warm-ups, and I know I made it. <laughs> and I just said to myself, okay, it's showtime. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. You know, in that uh, 2002 World Cup, um, in fact, in that game uh, against Germany in, in that quarterfinal, uh, you had a great cross to Brian McBride, but you had a number of great crosses into Brian McBride. Early crosses, uh, crosses, you know, deep on the flank. Um, you played with Brian uh, with the Milwaukee Rampage. Uh, do you think there was a, a little <coughs> better understanding between you two, or what well, was that about? I mean, definitely. I mean, most people re remember, you know, the cross against Portugal, which was. Uh, was it our second goal or, or third I don't goal recall exactly. against Portugal? I went down the wing and, and crossed it in, and he headed it. And you know, we we had we were a forward tandem back in the day, and you know, I was the speedy guy that ran to the corners and kicked it in the middle, and he headed it home. So mm -hmm. um, he's a great forward to work with. You don't have to hit his head. You know, you have to put it up for him, and he will attack the ball. So generally, you know, obviously, I always look up for him. But you try to put it in his vicinity, mm -hmm. and and you know he trusts me that that I'm going to get it there. So he makes hard runs in the box, and you know I know that he's going to go after it. So I don't have to aim. I can you know worry about just getting it past the defense. Mm -hmm. And you know it was a great play, and you know it'll be remembered for a long time. And um, our chemistry and and upbringing together definitely helped. Mm -hmm.